So I ran into kind of an odd problem today, and I thought I would share with you what it was because I figured maybe some other people might have run into this as well. So I've been wanting to try out Google Cloud, and I did so today. I specifically was taking a look at the Node.js SDK for being able to upload files to Google Cloud Storage. Now the problem that I had was with trying to authenticate. Um, well I guess part partially kind of how to store the authentication key. So if you're unfamiliar with how authentication works with Google Cloud, what they do is they give you a JSON file of all the keys um, like your API key, a private key, your project ID, a bunch of junk, um, and it, you need that JSON file to authenticate. And the funny thing about Google Cloud um, is you really need to pass it the file path to this JSON file. Um, it doesn't have a lot of options to actually pass these values in yourself. It just really wants you to pass in the path. So you'll notice here, here's how you create a, a storage object and then you can do things like create buckets in Google Cloud. And you'll notice you're like passing in no credentials here. So well, how do you do that? So um, from the docs, what they actually do is they have you set an environment variable or you can pass this in through the code. You actually specify a path to a JSON file that holds your credentials, which I thought was pretty weird that you're setting an environment variable for a path. I have not really seen a case like this before. Um, and specifically, uh, you can also explicitly say it instead of having environment variable, you can do something like this. Now, this is kind of odd, or I couldn't find out a great way of just passing in the values themselves rather than just passing in a path. So you may be asking, what is the problem with just passing in a JSON file? Ben, why don't you just do that, right? What's the problem? Well, I was thinking about in the context of using Heroku, or in my case, Circle CI, where you have something where it's going to take your code off of Git or GitHub. Um, it's going to take a repository. And you don't want to store anything inside of there um, that are API keys, credentials, any of that stuff. You want to store all that usually in an environment file. Uh, but for Google Cloud, you need this JSON file. And so you basically, you're basically you basically at the struggle of how can I put the credentials in a JSON file but not put them in Git because I don't want to expose them through there. Um, but I can't put it in an environment variable because it's expecting a path, not the values itself. Um, so it was kind of an awkward problem. And there's like basically no, I couldn't find any really good solutions for it. Um, I found one place in their docs where they kind of illustrate something. And basically the approach they take, and they even mention here for things like Heroku, uh, where you want to deploy from your source control, um, which is popular or pretty common. Um, what you can do is you can put the entire JSON file. So this is what is the JSON file kind of looks like in a environment variable. So they call it creds. And then you can use this Google auth library and you can parse the keys and you can create a client um, from those values. So basically you read the values yourself from the environment. Now this is well and good. Um, but I don't really care about this Google Auth library. I care about using the Google Cloud Storage one. And I couldn't really find an example that incorporated those. I couldn't really get it to work using this Google Auth library method um, with the storage method, or at least using the storage SDK. Maybe I should just use this separately. Uh, but anyway, the thing that I came up with is kind of like a hack around solution to get this to work. And maybe there's I'm just missing something and there's a much better way to do it. Um, but I basically took inspiration of storing the entire JSON file in an environment variable and then take advantage of the fact that NPM has a special hook called post install, 
And so what this post install hook does is whenever your NPM package or project, the dependencies are installed, it's going to run this after it's over. So when you push your code up to GitHub, um, what I'm thinking is, or push up your code to Heroku, uh, whichever one, you put in uh, this environment variable as the uh, in Heroku's variables. So I would set this in Heroku's variables, and then I would have this post install hook get called whenever Heroku's done installing the packages, and then it would just echo the the information from the environment variable. And this is a pipe operator. Actually, no, it's not. I think it's not a pipe because pipe is this. I think this is considered maybe a redirect operator, I think it's called. But anyway, what it does is it puts it into a file. So it's going to basically take the output of this and put it in a file called creds.json. Uh, and then I can tell my Google Cloud storage and point it to the creds.json file that's being added. Um, so it's kind of a weird hacky solution, but basically what will happen is I push my code up to GitHub. It's going to, or Heroku, it's going to read the environment variable. It's going to create the JSON file. Uh, there and so it, I'm still storing the information in the environment variable and I'm not exposing it on git um, but I'm still pleasing Google um, by putting it in a JSON file which they really really want um, and I can just pass the path like that I guess anyway I haven't actually tried this yet um, this is kind of just like I guess I had in my head that I'm going to try because I kind of figured like there's got to be an easier way to do it. This is kind of a really roundabout way. Why is Google making this so hard? I must be, like, I'm probably just missing something very big that I can just pass into this, this storage object, maybe, that I'm not doing. Um, but anyway, I figured maybe some of you guys have had the same problem because I assume it's pretty common to use Google Cloud um, storage. I'm assuming some people are using it and also using something like Heroku. I'm curious if you've, I like run into that I was thinking about just putting the JSON key file in my git and just push it up and be super lazy that really did cross my mind but it felt so wrong to do so that I, I haven't done it quite yet <laughs> anyway this was the odd problem that uh, I kind of have an odd solution for that I was spending way too much time on today researching uh, maybe some of you guys have found better solution than I have